Vote like a black woman. Maxine Waters, is this the uh this the one with Maxine Waters? Nah, nah, nah. This is a long clip, but fuck it, I'm playing it. They're finally admitting to it and it's glorious. I have been saying for a while that a lot of these white men who are anxious in the Democratic Party and who keep howling about replacing Joe Biden, like even the ones who were yelling that he shouldn't be the candidate, even though we have never not had the incumbent president as a candidate for a major party in this country. Like, sh just anyway, what I'm saying is these are scared of Kamala Harris and this take makes it very clear. Hold on, let me get another one. This pretentious right here. Read this. It should be clear to you now that these men are not afraid of Joe Biden's age. They are afraid of Kamala Harris taking over in 2026 and then off of the success of these two terms, running for president in 2028, winning, and then running again in 2032, winning because the Republican Party knows that they are broke as a f joke because Donald Trump has siphoned all their money away so they can't even really afford any more campaigns. And Kamala Harris would have a historic 10 year term, which is enough time if we give her the Congress that she needs, is enough time to change our entire political system in this country. This is what they are afraid of. I'm going to say it again for the mentally delayed people out here. They are afraid of a black and Indian woman being the person who fixes our country because it sh on the lie of white male supremacy being what makes America great, okay? And y'all are not mad enough and y'all are not being petty enough for me because at the end of the day, if you go and vote and put the Democrats in power, that means A, all of these Republicans, including Donald Trump, are going to have no protection from the federal government to uh, when they come up for trial for these crimes. And a lot of these are being investigated for crimes. I'm talking about a lot. A lot in the House, some in the Senate. Okay, let's keep let, let, let's keep her going. Let's keep it going. What, what else she had to say? What else the baby had to say? Go ahead, baby. T and tell them about obviously it. Obviously, Donald Trump. And he will not get justice served to him if the GOP remains in power in the House, if we don't get a 60 vote majority in the Senate, because our Supreme Court is already kowtowing to him. So if you want Donald Trump to pay for his crimes of trying to steal our damn election in 2020 when uh, the Al-Qaeda ran into the Capitol and tried to stop the counting of the votes, the official proceeding, if you want him to have to pay for his crimes, and if you want him to not have a Secret Service protection that we are paying for while he is in jail, that should be a good enough reason for you to go and just vote for every Democrat you see on that ballot in November. Like, the GOP is broke, y'all. They are broke as a f joke because they are paying for all his legal fees. They are sycophants. They are idiots. They are bigots. They are morons. They are racist. And all they want is power. And we have more power than them if we utilize it. But y'all falling for propaganda and y'all, you know, worry about stupid sh you can't prioritize properly. We have a chance to fix this sh if you participate. But because you don't understand how the system works and because you don't understand what voting actually is, you think it's something else and you're like, I'm not participating. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Dumb, number one. But number two, forget all that then. Just be petty, b and go vote so that you can see Donald Trump get his, so that you can see these Republicans get theirs. Just do that. Let, let, let's, let's play it out. Let's get active. Let's go. Let's see what's going to happen if you give the power to the people and the people actually utilize it. Let's see. Try it out. See. Go and vote, ho. And don't just vote. Do it strategically. Do it so that we can have positive outcomes. I know. I know that everybody wants to vote their heart, their conscience, their feelings, and all that bullshit. But math don't care about that, baby. Math don't care about your feelings. Your feelings are valid. 
All right, all right, all right. Some of that stuff I do agree with, and some of it I don't agree with. Um, when she say just vote for all Democrats, I, I don't know about that, you know? I really don't know about that. You should do a little bit more research, especially when it comes to your local elections. So locally, the Republican Party might serve you well, you know? Um, I just so happen to not believe Donald Trump because he lies all the time. But both of them owe, you know, and hell, I am voting like a black woman votes. I'm just supporting these black women. That's all. You know, the black woman said, you know, that she going this that way. A lot of these, I'm rocking with her. That's just, that's just basically my, my take on it. I don't really even care either. I'm saying, you know, um, if somebody asks me who I'm voting for and they look like they might wear a red hat, I'm going to be like, I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> I'm gonna take uh your boy Lil Duval uh, word word and, and I'm just gonna agree with everybody whatever with it, whatever y'all want to say politically I'm gonna say the same thing except on my platform I'm gonna let folks know what I want.